further on it. Yeah, load game. That's weird. Auto save and then there's mine. Alright. Read tentacle. Hey! Talk. What's up, Bernard? How's your How's new band your doing? Going? Green tea and the sushi platter? We're doing great! We've decided to really capitalize on our strongest quality as a band. Intoxicating three-part vocal harmony? Volume, man! Volume! We have a chance to win a Grimy Award as the loudest new band. We're pulling out all the stops. That's great! Yeah! I really like the name Sushi Batter. You mean green tea in the sushi platter? Thanks, that means a lot. Weren't you looking for a new guitarist a while back? Yes, but we decided to go with a guy who plays power tools instead. We can generate a lot more sound that way. Have you gotten any airplay? No, we're a little too experimental for most radio stations, but we have a huge following in the club scene. Are you working on an album? Yeah, we're doing a CD called Rap on the Forehead. I've got a few tracks hooked up through the stereo if you want to hear them. That's great. Yeah. Why the litter box? Have you got a cat? Don't ask. How does a tentacle sit in a beanbag chair? Oh, that part's easy. It's getting back out of it that's hard. Can you actually use that bowling ball? No, Purple brought that in here after he grew arms. He got really discouraged, though, because he doesn't have fingers. Well, see you later, Green. Yeah! Good luck in saving the world, B-Man! Hoagie would really love these. Powerful looking speaker. There's no label, it's probably blank. Take over the world. It's pretty small. Hey, aren't you Who's Weird Ed Edison, the paramilitary nut? Why, yes, I. Hey. Do I know you? Yeah, I'm Bernard Benulli. I broke into your house five years ago, kidnapped your hamster, broke into your piggy bank. Mm, no, doesn't ring a bell, but I can't remember much about that period anyway. My psychotherapist thinks something traumatic happened to me back then that I'm blocking out. 
So you gave up the crazy military commando thing? I'm much better now. I don't have those... those bad thoughts anymore. Now I collect stamps. That's quite a nice collection. Can I have it? No. I mean, uh, no. They mean a lot to me. Sometimes I think they're the only friends I've got. Nice hamster. Does he do tricks? No, he just sits there. I used to have a really smart hamster, but something happened to him. Huh. Well, you all know what that is. You gotta play the game. Well, hope I didn't get you too excited. Bye. Peace be with you. Reading the Wall Street Journal. Bye. a videotape with that. She got my way. It's signed, Edna, thanks for giving me the fever. There doesn't seem to be anything dangerous in there. That was getting pretty loud and pretty annoying.
Hey, Dr. Fred. We have to do something. What do you suggest, college boy? No diamond for the central unit, no power for the chronogons. A mutant monster of my own creation, roaming the countryside, taking over the world. It's a dark day for mad science. Why can't we just fix the time machine? It needs a whole new diamond. Now where am I going to get the money? Hey, I know. Let's put on a show in the old barn. Do you realize how much a diamond costs? Two months of the groom's salary? Two million dollars! So, you've got money, don't you? Well, I didn't get all the money I expected from that TV show about us. We had to rent out our mansion as a hotel just to make ends meet. Uh. If only I had signed that contract in time. What contract? Well, after that incident when I was possessed by a meteor from outer space, somebody decided to make a show about us. But they didn't pay us anything. All we got was a cut of the video game. Wow, that thing made millions. Yes, I forgot to sign the royalty contract in time, though. I still have it in my safe upstairs. Let's go get the contract out of the safe and sign it. I forgot the combination. But that's... that's so stupid, Dr. Fred. I know. It gives my enormous brain nightmares. Every night I dream about opening the safe, but I find something horrible inside and slam it shut. Over and over again, night after night. Is that why you drink so much coffee? I haven't slept in two years. Well, gotta go save the world. Good luck. Good luck. Okay, let's see what we can do with your coffee since we're constantly playing with it. World's greatest mad scientist. One sign dime, fork, coffee with mug, use decaf. Yeah, there we go. Mmm, thanks. I needed a little pick-me-up. <laughs> Must <laughs> open safe. Must sign contract. Must provide for family. Let's go follow him. Fruit, fruit, emerald stolen. Circular prints left behind. Ha! Ah, wonder who that was. Now, let's go watch him open that safe. how they brought up the, the TV show, which you can find on YouTube, by the way, if you want to. I can see the safe. I 
can almost make out the combination. It's... Get away from there! Darn. What's up, Hoagie? Dude, it's like cannibalism. Hoagie eats a hoagie. This is Edna's room. I don't wanna. guided my hand with such care. Must inspiration be so transitory? Must art be so cruel? Oh. I'm a failure. Uh, don't say that, Ned. Father was right. We Edisons are made to be scientists, not artists. Dear brother, we must be strong in these times of creative adversity. Why don't you let me take over for a while? I'll clean this rubble up and start over. You relax. Have a cappuccino. Where do you have a cappuccino in his pocket? I'm glad we switched places. I think you're coming out quite well. Creepy. Must be an Edison. I can see the safe. I can almost make out the combination. It's... Get away from there! Darn. Well, you know what they say. If you want to save the world, you gotta push a few old ladies down the stairs. Damn straight. That VHS tape we got.
Dr. Fred Edison, Internal Revenue, come with us. We'd like to go over some of your records with you, upstairs. Fred Edison Internal Revenue Come with us It's already rewound Trying not to forget what it was. I don't know if they really need to remember it. Is that a W390B frivolous spending report? No, it's another 561AB negative attention statement. Ah. Uh, what did you say your wife's name was again? Sandy. Oh, yeah. Hey, you can't go in there. Did you say you have a PP41 facilities paraphernalia declaration over there? Nope. Is that a W390B frivolous spending report? No, it's another 561AB negative attention statement. Ah. Uh, okay, how do you bye. suppose the Dodgers are doing? Oh, where is his office? Anybody remember where his office is? Oh, that's right. The safe is closed. Well, open it. I can't push it in any farther. empty the safe is closed I'd rather not Let's see, it's 101 99957. The party of the first part shall hereby be known as a crazed maniacal genius. Crazed maniacal genius, that's pretty perfect.
Yoo-hoo, Mr. Tentacle Guy. What? Ooh, oh, so I don't good. feel so good. I think I'm going to <laughs> throw up all over. Uh-oh. Time to visit Dr. Tentacle. Well, well, what have we here? I feel pukey. Indeed. All right, now hold still. Are you gonna use your scalpel? No, of course not. Darn. Do you want to use mine? Uh, no. Hmm. What? Hmm. What? What? Just as I suspected. What? There's nothing wrong with you, human. What a letdown. Well, I'm late for the show. I'll send your keeper back for you. Oh, sit. Stay. Good boy. Yeah. What the hell? I still don't understand how they can eat through a sucker. Opens automatic. What? She's so weird. Hi, my name's Laverne. I'm a sophomore. My name's Harold. I'm a thoroughbred. That's quite a tutu you've got there. Thank you. My owner paid quite a lot of money for it. My owner buys me anything I want. Where is your owner? He's not here right now. But he would be if he in any way possibly could. His bus broke down in Pittsburgh, so he's stuck there with the other owners. This is the first show I've ever done alone. waiting for the human show to begin, of course. If your own is going to enter you, they'd better get you some name tags quick. But then again, why bother? My owner says I'm going to win. I'm the most beautiful human there is. Hey, hold that thought. I got a boogie. Keep in touch! Sandwich with that hat? Huh. Tentacles only upstairs. Behave or I'll take you to the kennel. If I only had a tentacle costume. Tentacles only upstairs. 
behave or I'll take you to the kennel. If I only had a tentacle costume. What's upstairs? Nothing that you need to worry about. An old time capsule and some worthless human relics. And, of course, the showroom. Off limits to humans, naturally. Except for the showroom. I'll be off with you. Nice clock. Rather. No one is to touch it, especially humans. I'll be off with you. It opens automatically. Tell me, Lieutenant, how do you really feel about humans? Honestly, sir, I think they're filthy, obscene, foul, sickening, like the stuff in your eyes when you wake up, like the wax that builds up behind your suction cups after a few days. Like That's enough, son. I just wanted to be sure you weren't one of those humanist sympathizers. What with this ridiculous human show going on here, there's humophiles everywhere. I'm no humophile, sir. That's good. Now, let me tell you about a little plan I have. Excuse me? Man, I'm not kidding. You are just about the homeliest homo sapien I've ever seen. Thanks. You ain't so hot yourself. I never said I was, but sheesh, have you taken a look at yourself lately? I mean, your hair alone is gonna give me nightmares. Not to mention your teeth, your clothes, your one eye that's bigger than the other. Gee, how much worse could I get? Not much, unless there were two of you. <laughs> hey Shannon, what's up? I see you hanging out in my stream. How's it going? Where I come from. Where I, I come from, babe. I happen to be quite the babe. You mean the kennel? That doesn't say much. Everyone in there is a human show reject. Human show? Hot dang, sign me up. Sorry, humans can't sign themselves up, no matter how ugly they are. Go ask your owner to sign you up. Ask him to sign you up for a haircut while they're at it. Wow. Okay, jerk. What about... No, I don't want to go with that one. Hey, how'd you get out? Get back in there. I wish Dr. Tentacle would stop losing patience. Hey Shannon, you ever play this game when you were younger? It's actually the second part of Maniac Mansion. You who, Mr. Tentacle Guy? What? I have to go to the bathroom. Ha, that's a good one. Imagine a human using a bathroom. Come on, let's take a walk. Okay, human, do your business.
It's unplugged. Okay, I flushed it. to get to the Rondo John. Never heard of it. No, it's fine. If you weren't into like point and click adventures, this probably wasn't up here, you know. But being a goofball like I was, sitting at home, playing nothing but weird, stupid games all the time. Yeah, let's go. Keep going. I wish there was a way you could just say, go back to Chrono John. There's something in there. to go to the future. gone outside with him yet. Oh, that's right. I don't need to go to the Chrono John. They're, they're in the basement. Why am I going down this way? I just need to go to the basement. Jesus. Alright, so... Uh... Oh man, I'm getting sleepy. There we 
we go. Thank you. Couple more minutes. All right. Let's just do this. It's empty. Oh, you can only do one at a time. That is annoying. He's got the red paint. Okay, now I gotta send. picking or whatever these were point and click adventures aren't really that exciting but they're pretty fun to play maybe not to watch but my kid likes it my kid likes to watch these so that's fun you know actually doing something that is kid appropriate that's pretty nice because then my daughter can watch it too and not have to worry about cussing and all that other stuff and uh you know inappropriate crap but here we go. Here we go. Let's go upstairs. Let's take some stuff up and mess with history a little bit. All right. Doo-doo-doo. That's right, Betsy. Stars and stripes, dull, dull, dull. Hey, don't criticize unless you got a better idea. I got a better idea. <laughs> Change the flag. Yoo-hoo, 
Mr. Tentacle Guy. It's about time. So I never told you guys why I started the podcast. Uh, so, you know, I wanted something because sometimes I have like this morbid thing about me. Like I think about like what would happen like if I wasn't around, blah, blah, blah. And my kid was, oh man, that was like four years ago. So she was three. And I was thinking about some way that my kid would remember. So we remember her dad in some way that I could always be there. So I was like, you know, I should make a podcast. And then like it would always be around. So, and it would show her who I really was and how I was with my friends and stuff. And so I started one. It was fun, but I don't think it's appropriate for her to ever listen to because she's going to hear Yoo-hoo, things about her Mr. dad. Mr. Tentacle she want Guy. To. What? I don't feel so good. Again? So that's why we started the podcast. She goes. Awesome. All right. So we're going to leave Laverne here for a little bit. Go back out. Now we go back to Hoagie. those founding fathers at yeah they're downstairs yeah hopefully my stuff isn't as embarrassing Shannon as uh so my dad wrote a porno some of it possibly yeah <laughs> uh some of it was she's just gonna know that her dad was a weirdo so I kind of wonder how that is why is he just stroking that time capsule so much? He's just stroking it up and down all the time. Bum, 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 bum. Thank you. This is exactly the sort of thing I need for the time capsule. I'll bury it tonight and it won't be seen for hundreds of years. Future generations are in your debt. Whoa.
and I keep thinking like you know like my my father like when I was a kid my, my didn't have like the best dads you know I uh, had one that wasn't ever there and then I had a stepfather who was a complete weirdo a-hole so how about an amendment um, that the president has to be a human being please this is serious business you're right So I really didn't want Sophie to grow up with a, a dad like that. And sometimes, uh, you know, the way you were raised comes out. And, you know, the anger of how you were raised is not good for your kid, you know? I'm trying not to be like that. We're gonna send that to, uh, to Laverne. So, let's go back to Laverne. <laughs> oh, you look so funny. But now she can go wherever she wants, so. Let's go back here, Jimmy. Yeah. Toy. Can't get close to him. So I found out that, uh, yeah, he didn't like it that I married somebody who wasn't completely white, which really bugs the shit out of me. And uh, so he didn't even want to see his granddaughter because of it. So that was not very cool. Tentacle number one, the almighty elder, the grand Pooba, purple tentacle, not to let anyone near this clock. But I have rights. I'm a tentacle. <laughs> and a darn attractive one, I might add. But no one gets to this clock while I'm here. And unless I have to go chase down some escaped humans, I'm glued to this spot. Rats. You heard the man escape. You're talking to the wrong people. We like it here. We are celebrities. Yeah, well, he didn't really want to, so. He missed out. That's all I can say about that. Hey, cutie. What brings a hot tentacle babe like you to a dump like this? I'm 
I'm uh, here to see you, big boy. Really? Well, what are you doing for dinner? How about Club Tentacle? Hey, what am I saying? I can't afford to take out the trash, let alone a classy babe like you. <sighs> I'm looking for a pet. Sorry, honey. You came to the wrong place. These three are problem humans. Untrainable, disobedient, downright surly. He's just jealous because we've got opposable thumbs. Someday you will accept tentacles as your masters. Huh. <laughs> you losers can't even ride tricycles. You see why no one wants them as pets? I'm here by accident. Bye. Hey, I don't want to be here either. I don't want, I want to go upstairs. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> Stupid tentacle. It's a dented old can. There's a plaque here about it. In commemoration of the Constitutional Convention, interred by Thomas Jefferson, A.D. 1790. Run over by a plow, A.D. 1795. Sorry about the dents. Are you kidding me? Alright, now go out. Go back to the Ugh. Alright. Head back out. No, we're going to help. Can opener, which I didn't get. Ugh. Yeah, you're right, Shannon. Uh, Laverne is a great character. Why am I going that way? What am I doing? Such a goof. Right. When I first started playing this, I, I Hoagie's probably been my favorite character, but Laverne's starting to grow on me. There we go. Chateau de Cheap, 1775. Alright. No, 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 no. You gotta grab it. No, come on. Ah. Outside we go. There's a lot of like dumping off stuff at a time. Stream, <laughs> like a lot of it.
I'm just a failure. Hi, my name's Bernard. What's yours? Dwayne. Isn't that depressing? Gee, you look depressed. What clued you in, Brainiac? The gun was a good tip-off. I'm having a crisis here, a warehouse of anguish. I'm a novelty goods designer by trade. I've come up with some fabulous ideas. The exploding lollipop, itching powder gum, and reverse 3D glasses, to name a few. The problem is, no one likes my designs. I send them all over the world and no one responds. I just wish someone would say they liked one just once. Oh, woe is me. I like your design ideas. Well, I didn't mean you. Never mind. Hey, there's a letter here for you. For me? <laughs> Probably another rejection slip. Oh well. You're brilliant. What a novel design. Come to Baltimore at once. Eat the sketchy leftovers? Uh, hold on. Let's see if I can do it. No way. I'm not touching that junk. Thank you. 
the British are coming. Huh? I don't see anything. Oh, never mind. Hi there. What can I do for you, kid? Nice cigars. I import them from the finest Cuban munitions factories. So, want another cigar? Okay, but only if you promise not to light it this time. Would I do a thing like that? Oh, ho, ho. Get lost, kid. Fine. Hey, oh, God. Some of these people are just. What are you doing? I didn't say go up the chimney. Thank you. Lumber card. Why would you try to bust into that car? Look at it. Look at that thing. Come on, really. Why am I going outside again? You know where these are. You keep doing this. That's not cool. Something's not in my inventory that was there before. Look. 
Looks like they all escaped. Yeah, but... I have to have those. That's the thing. Like, it was supposed to be in my inventory, and I have to have them. But it's not there. That is not cool. Where do they go? That is kind of a fatal flaw, because if I don't have those, I can't finish this. Um, so before, as you'll remember, I picked up a pair of chomping teeth that were across the floor. They're not there anymore. They're not anywhere else. Ugh. like nothing else I uh, can't finish it because I need them I absolutely need them so as you guys see there's a glitch and I can't do anything I'm gonna have to start over and I don't really want to because we're almost done with this game and... all right on that note it's been an hour and 15 I should Google to see. Uh, yeah, the tentacle. Um, tentacle. Chattering. Jeez. Missing. That's probably why. Okay, let's go upstairs. Thanks, Shannon. Thank you. I was about to quit. There might be a reason why. Because I trapped them. But I didn't get them. Alright. So this is what we gotta do. Let's go in here. Uh. There they are. Thank you. Oh my god. I totally forgot about that. Alright. That's what I get for doubting the great Tim Schafer making this great game. Alright. Now let's go down here.
So, now, put the teeth in here. What's nice about playing this on the Xbox is you don't have to type. Like, uh, you remember, like, in King's Quest or whatever, and you're like becoming a wizard, and you gotta go into the, you know, you're the apprentice, and you gotta go into the wizard's thing, and you gotta type in, take book, takes, take, uh, uh, all this other stuff, you know, take cloak, take wand, take hat, take blah, blah, blah. And if you're not a good typist, as I was probably in fourth grade, there's, you know, it didn't, didn't work very well. Because he's always show up right when you're typing. And thank you for not having us do this and this. All right, so. Me, hall, me, hall, me, hall. All right. Hey, hey, hey. What's up, Johnny? Hey, hey, talk. Excuse me. Yes? Mr. President, may I offer you an excellent smoke? Can you also provide me with a light? Sure. Well, in that case... Yeah. it when that happens. See if you can't find those for me, will you? There's a good lad. Could you use these? Why, thank you, young man. Strange. I wonder if I should cut down on the coffee. Hey, Tom, look! The father of our nation is cold. Better build a fire. You're right. Huh? I guess you can have my log. Me? Why should I build the fire? You build the fire. I'm bothered by the smoke. You build the fire. I'm bothered by your attitude. You build the fire. No, you build the fire, Mr. Penmanship. No, you build the fire, log lover. No, you build the fire. No, you build the fire. Oh, boy. You big baby. to do. Bye. No, not that way. Why do you always go that way? I don't want to go that way. I can't believe it's straight up pulled a gun on George Washington. This is the last part I'm doing tonight, and then I'm going to go to sleep. Uh, let's see, 
feel worse. Bye. the idiot who started the fire. It looks pretty clear in here now. Say, did you get the pen on our way out? No, I... I found a blanket blocking the chimney. Son, do you know anything about a blanket? Uh, didn't the dude next to you have one earlier? Uh... Uh, hey, catch you later. Excellent. I need that for my super battery. Are you kidding me? I can't do much more today.
dark message. Final element for my ingenious battery. Stand back, boy. Give me room to work. Modern science, it will look lovely here on the shelf until I take it with me to Baltimore. Don't look now, but the British are coming, dude. Eh? Where? Is that supposed to be funny? I'm very busy. Alright guys, I think that going to be it for the night or the day. I will, uh, talk to you guys tomorrow morning. At the same time, 6 a.m. when I get home from work, we will, uh, play a little bit more. 37% done. Getting pretty good. Alright. Talk later. Bye. Thanks, Shannon. Thanks for coming in, everybody. Thanks for checking us out. Don't forget, if you like it, uh, subscribe, hit the notification button, do all that crap, and uh, we'll talk to you all later. Bye.